Welcome back to Bones Backyard Homestead. On this episode, we're working in the kitchen and we're going to start canning some stuff. Stay tuned. Alright, so in this first video, we're going to actually take some store bought eggs along with the farm fresh eggs. And we're going to turn them into a spicy, spicy deviled egg, spicy pickled egg, whatever you want to call it. So for that, we're going to use Mrs. Wages spicy pickle mix. I know, it is what it is. We're going to add in some spices by adding some uh, jalapenos into the mix. So we're going to start with getting the eggs in the Instant Pot and getting them going. Then I'm going to get the jalapenos cut up and ready to go. All right, so before we can do anything, we really need to boil the eggs. So I'm gonna get that process started. There is a metal grate in here, and I got the water filled up just to the edge of that grate. And I probably got mm, 18 or so eggs in here. So I go with custom setting, high temp, I go six minutes. So custom six minutes on a high pressure. Then when it tells me that it's done cooking, I'm gonna actually let it sit in the Instapot for another six minutes, let it naturally vent, and then I'll give it its ice bath, and I've never had a problem with them peeling that way. Seven minutes cool down, so we're gonna finish letting that vent. I can already see a couple casualties. Top two there. So here's all the store bought eggs. They peeled re really easily. I wanted to show you the farm fresh eggs. Everybody has their own method of peeling these eggs. I like to get them all broke up. Maybe pump a little water in there from the sink. Sometimes I help, I'll have the water running. Just to get the water underneath that membrane. Once it's underneath that membrane, it kind of peels right off. Obviously it's not going to be as easy as the store-bought ones, but I mean... Not, not shabby. All right, so we're gonna get these uh, jalapenos sliced up. Discard the stem. No, it's seasonal. I'm gonna try my mandolin, cause uh, <clears throat> why not? Oh yeah, that works a lot better. And actually, we can do this right over the bowl too. When you're using these mandolins, I believe that's what they're called. I kind of want to call it the Mandalorian. Nobody likes pickled fingertips. All right, so the next step is to uh, sterilize the jars. But before I start that, I actually want to go ahead and get my my brine ready. And like I said, for that I'll be using this uh, Miss Wages pre-made stuff. So I'm gonna get the sauce going real quick. That way, as soon as I sterilize the jars, I can get everything in there and I can get the brine in there. The first thing I want to do is seven and a third cups of water in my saucepan. Okay, so I got my seven and a third cup of water in there, three and one thirds of the pickling. There's two cups. There's that, and then one pouch of this stuff. Whew. 
don't want to sneeze. All right, so this pretty much just says, bring it to a boil until it kind of like basically dissolves all that stuff. It's the eggs, you do not water bath, you do not pressure cook them. They kind of do their own thing where they basically just, they seal themselves. They, it's not really quite like shelf stable, um, but it doesn't quite have to go in the refrigerator until you actually open that one and just actually start eating the eggs out of that one. Just dark, cool place in the last good amount of time. So that's what I'll do with the eggs. This needs to dissolve. I need to start sterilizing the jars. And the reason why I'm kind of doing this in conjunction is because like I said, with the eggs, the eggs are gonna seal just from the heat of these two combined alone. That's what I'm looking at. All right, so we're getting ready to can these eggs. We're gonna sterilize the jars in some boiling water. We're gonna sterilize the lids, we're gonna sterilize the rings all at the same time. Meanwhile, I have the Mrs. Wages mix going in here. And then I'm gonna basically take, take the jars out, put the eggs in, put the, the brine in there, seal them up, and just let them sit. That's gonna be how we're gonna can those. Along with adding the jalapenos into our jars, I'll be adding, adding in some minced garlic. Originally I was gonna go with some fresh garlic from the store. I just didn't wanna sit there and go through the process of having to peel everything. All right, I'm gonna start sterilizing the jars. Never actually done this, so I was actually kind of worried about the jar being cold and then just like shattering or something. So yeah, I'm gonna jump a little bit when I've never done something before. <coughs> Man, the spices in that are really getting to my, getting to me, woo. I know you guys can't smell it, but woo. I don't know if you guys can hear it over there, but the dogs are <laughs> the dogs are sniffing too. Oh my goodness. Probably should have done this during the day when I could open the windows and let the dogs out. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some jalapenos on the bottom of all these jars. Now a spoonful of minced garlic. Keep that one good too. Okay, left, you know what? I'll just do two for one all over now. I'll just skip on the next step. All right, let's see how many eggs we can get in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Some more jalapenos. Two, three, four, five. Making sure there's nothing on that ring that's going to stop us from sealing it. Mm. 
Just finger tight, remember. <coughs> You see everything that's in there. So now these are gonna sit overnight. All right, folks, so it's the next day and our eggs are nice and sealed. And now I'm gonna leave them like this until I'll give them a couple weeks at least before I try my first one. But they will be sitting in a cupboard, maybe down in the basement. Maybe I'll keep them up in the kitchen, just put them somewhere away from the stove, away from the heat, and they can stay in the cupboards and be in their dark home or whatever. Once I open them, I don't know. I, I've heard so many different things about you can leave them out on the counter just like they've done in the bars ever since, what, Ireland or something like that. You know what? Who knows? I've heard that only one person ever really died from botulism from eating their eggs and they actually had pretty much did the same process but they took the eggs and actually stabbed it with a toothpick to let the juices get in there well they also introduced the botulism maybe it was on the toothpick or something who knows i'm just going to take my eggs for now i'm going to let them brine up a couple weeks before i try them hopefully you guys will catch me on the next episode where we're going to be doing the spicy asparagus pretty much the exact same way we've done these except for those are actually going to be canned. Stay tuned.